Hey guys, I'm Maniacal Red Panda, and welcome to a brand new series called Craft Lock. This is going to be a series that you guys can do too, and I'm going to explain all the rules to you guys. We're in hardcore mode for this to make it a little extra special, and in the distance we've got a mushroom biome that we're going to be visiting eventually. I had to make sure that there was a seed that that we were in a seed that had a mushroom biome before I started, just in case we never found one. Because in this series, we're going to be building a house and a farm in every single biome. And by every single biome, I don't mean like in Birch Forest M or like all the little detailed ones. I mean just like in snow biome, forest biome, desert biome. And I'm going to include the exact list of biomes in the description. For this challenge, you're going to be able to bring a few things with you when you go into the next biome. You're going to be able to take only your sword, a pickaxe, one crafting table, and this one crafting table will be your only crafting table for your entire playthrough. So say hello to this little crafting table here. He's going to be with us for a long time. Might even give him a name or her a name. Might be a female crafting table. And you can take a bed. I did try to record this series once before, which I'm showing you guys now, but as you can see, I was blown up by a creeper and died horribly. So this was the house that I had before I miserably failed by being snuck up on by a creeper. I'm going to build something similar to this in this playthrough because I'm still in the exact same world. I still want to build kind of the same house, but I'm going to mix it up a little bit. And this is the farm that I had going on. As far as the farm, you can build basically any kind of farm you want for this challenge, as long as it can... Well, yeah, any kind of farm. Because I was thinking, like, when you go into a desert, what kind of farm are you going to make? You're going to make, like, a cactus farm. Or possibly a bunny farm if you can find enough rabbits. So, yeah. So here we are now in our little hole again. Um, this is now officially the new world. This is going to be where we're going to be staying until we die. Which hopefully won't be for a long time. And I am eventually going to go into the nether and the end since those are technically biomes. So one day we're going to go to the end in hardcore mode. And I really want to be able to do that for you guys. I've been playing Minecraft for years. I would love to be able to go and defeat the Ender Dragon in Hardcore, but I don't know if we're going to get that far. However far we get, maybe I'll do something special. I don't have a plan yet, but hopefully we can at least make it past like five biomes, especially since, like I've said, I've already died by Creeper Explosion in the last one, so hopefully we won't have something like that happen again. I was really surprised a second then because I found iron in the previous playthrough that I did of this, where I died, that I didn't really show, there was no iron to be found, and I just happened to dig in the right spot to find iron this time, so I was really excited. But yeah, I'm going to dig for a bit, and cut down some trees and gather materials, and I'm going to show you guys some moments from that failed playthrough where I seriously nearly died like half a heart away but escaped just for fun because I thought it would be funny and that can give me time to you know go and gather things and get ready to build so here I was digging away in the old one that I've already died in you know and my pickaxe broke so I was like okay I'm just gonna go up and use my crafting table that's on the surface but you know, it's night time, so I'm sure you can expect the worst of the worst, because the worst of the worst did happen. Except I do not actually die at this point. I never actually captured it on camera when I actually died by the creeper attack, because I wasn't expecting it. I was just building off camera, and I was about to cut back and be like, Okay, here's what I've gotten so far in my house, and then BAM! Dead. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm just gonna come up here, I'm gonna grab some wool real quick so I can build a bed, and I'll sleep the night away. Everything will be fine. Routine. No big deal. I can take it. One zombie. Who cares? It's 
see some other mobs in the distance, but I'm like, Psh, they don't see me. Totally unsuspecting. I feel like I get really confident in hardcore mode because I'm so used to playing on survival and I'm like, Psh, I'll live, but no, you won't, you won't live. They really start ganging up on me. And, like, I'm at one heart right now. There's one black bottle filled on the screen. And I barely survive with my life. And I still stay up there. I don't think I really realized it. Until maybe now, where I abandoned the furnace and ran. Because, <laughs> you know, you can build a new furnace. No big deal. <laughs> so I escaped with my life. But barely. And I had some mutton so that I could regain my strength. I am sad that I didn't get the creeper explosion on camera though. From now on, I'm going to record every moment just in case I do die. Because you never know when something's going to happen to you like a creeper explosion. Or if that skeleton in the distance had... <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> if that skeleton in the distance had shot me while I had that one heart, I would have been dead. It's back in our current timeline craft lock. I'm going to go completely decimate this forest for <laughs> building materials and I might totally officially go over some things with you guys about the craft lock. If I mention of that creeper, if that creeper had blown up our house, for example, or if something happens, like maybe you're building a fireplace in your house and your house like catches on fire and is destroyed too bad you got to build another one or you're not going to complete the craft block or if um, you build a house if we built a house in this forest we moved on to the spruce forest that was nearby and started building there in the taiga and we came back to this house and it got like struck by lightning or something then the craft block wouldn't be complete I'd have to build another house in the forest again I decided to put here a little pumpkin guide to watch over our farm. And the farm for this challenge doesn't have to be anything special. You just have to have a farm that could sustain you with some sort of something. Like how I mentioned earlier with the cactuses and the rabbits. But I felt like we just had to have a pumpkin person watch over our farm. So I love making the little pumpkin people. I need to get him some arms. Here I've got the beginnings of our house on this lake, which is right next to the farm. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 wide of a house and long. So that's the minimum that you have to build your house in this challenge. So that you don't, so that someone doesn't go in and try to build a box house or anything. We're thinking like a real house, like full blown. For our doorway, I've decided to do a combination of birch and oak, and I'm going to make it so that we've got the birch on the inside. Which, now that I think about it, is a little weird, because it seems kind of backwards to me, like the birch should be on the other side, but I like this. I think it's cool. I want to try to use all the materials that I can find in this forest. So I've gathered up some leaves that we're going to use to decorate with, and I'm going to use, like all kinds of variations of oak and birch with things like stairs and slabs and trapdoors and fences and everything I could possibly put in here. I really like that we've got our house over the lake and I'm going to make a little spot in the middle of the house eventually where we can go fishing. And right now I'm going to build a bridge that connects us to the mainland and I'm going to make sure that it's tall enough so that we can sail a boat around here. I think that'd be really cool. Now, like I said before, I'm playing this challenge in hardcore mode, but if you guys play this challenge, you don't have to play it in hardcore mode, because normal mode could work just as good. As long as in every biome you're building a house and a farm, that's really all that the challenge requires. I'm doing hardcore mode just for a little extra challenge for myself. It'll be really exciting for when we actually move to the next biome, because everything that we gather here we're going to leave in a chest, and continue onwards. I do want to pick a house eventually where we can go like gather up a bunch of good mining stuff 
and really decorate it. I don't know if I'll do that in this house or not. Like, because I don't know if I want to anvil and things like that if we're just going to move on to the next biome. I think that I do want to go mining just to go and find some armor and things. And we will we'll have the iron and whatever else I find just in case we want to build some more stuff here for our house. And I'm going to go collect a bunch of materials and things that we need to build the house. And I'm going to make some progress and come show you guys when I'm done. So I'll see you guys soon. Alright guys, so I am back from my mining expedition and from making some progress on the house. I have full iron armor, I've got some stained glass windows to decorate with, and a bunch of other materials and things to add to this house. So here's what I have so far. This is the bottom floor. I'm thinking of maybe doing two or so. I'm going to use some brick for the walls and I'm making some stained glass window places. I've done like a pattern of oak and birch, and I've got oak and birch leaves all on the top. I'm thinking that I want to put a real roof on this house. Like I rarely ever do houses that have real roofs, like realistic looking roofs. I think I'm going to do that. And yeah, we're going to have brick going all across these walls, and I'm going to leave some places for windows and things. And we're going to have our really cute bike house. It'll be awesome. I'm thinking right now that I want to do a two-story house, and then we can put our bedroom in the second story. Um, yeah, it'll be nice. I don't have that many bricks because I've been going off of what I can find in this lake or in the ocean that's nearby, trying to find whatever clay I can get so that I can make bricks. But eventually I'll have enough to cover these walls kind of pointing at the sky because I'm like, I'm going to do a second floor. Woo, it'll be awesome. <laughs> right now I've got my bed by this window, but eventually we'll have our bed up there on that second floor. I've decided this go around to do some really funky decorating inside with like half slabs and stairs and things. And it's going to look a lot like if you've seen the sky block with me and Izzy the mage, it's going to look a lot like the bridge that connects our little house to the village. It's going to be some really cool patterns like that that I use to decorate the inside of our house with. And I'm excited to show you guys that. The farm's been coming along quite nicely. Eventually I'm going to make our farm look really nice. Like it's not just going to be this thing by the lake. It's going to look really nice. Um, I want our house to be really nice too. Like I don't want to just make a whatever house and whatever farm we move on. I want them to look like actual places we're going to live. And then once we live there for a bit, we'll have to say goodbye to them, which is kind of sad. But yeah, I guess I will go make a little more progress on the house and then I'll come back and see you guys soon. Ah, the moon. Hey guys. So I really needed to go fishing, and this is a little before I built my house. I wanted to show you guys my fishing technique. So I really needed to go fishing before I built my house, and so I built this dirt box. It's really high up off the ground, so I'm thinking, you know, nobody's going to be able to get me from up here, and nobody ever does. I sat through the whole night up here and went fishing, and I was able to catch my fish, no problem. I mean, I guess it's kind of hard to see when a fish actually comes onto the line. I don't think it's that bad. Like, I can kind of see the bubbles. It's a little difficult, but I catch fish no problem up here. No skeletons ever bothered me. I'm covered on three sides, so if someone, if a skeleton does try to come along and shoot me, I'll just get blasted back. There's basically no way I can get knocked off this thing. So I thought it was a pretty ingenious way to go fishing through the night. And I had a lot of fun just standing up here, catching fish. Ta-da! <laughs> so now back in the present, we have our little fishing hole inside of our house. Once we have our walls up, this will be completely safe to fish out of, and that trap door in the middle doesn't hinder our fishing rod from catching anything down there. So that'll be nice and safe. Nice, safe way to fish. Oh yeah, and I got some levers to put on our little pumpkin guy. So I'm going to give him some arms. There we go. 
two lippos. And I'm going to move this torch out of the way and give him some super cute little arms. I love these pumpkin people. I can't wait to get some melons and I'll give him a melon body. So I feel like they need to have a melon body and pumpkin head. And I'll have to get him a little flower pot hat. It'll be super cute. And he needs a name. I don't want to just name him Henry because I always name all of my pumpkin people Henry. He will be someone who will keep guard over our farm. And he'll be our friend. Or she. Like, why don't I ever... I, this, this is going to be a girl pumpkin person. I always make male pumpkin people for some reason. This is our female pumpkin person who's watching over the farm. <laughs> don't we look cute together? Me and my best friend. Whatever her name is. <laughs> Sailing in my boat around the house. I'm a little fisherman sailing in her boat. Woohoo! So I finished the first floor of our home, and I'm going to go inside and show you guys what this looks like. I've decorated a lot and put a lot of really fun stuff in here that you guys too can use for your own houses. So here we go. Here's the inside of our first floor. This is kind of what I was talking about using um, stuff that's similar to the bridge and skyblocks. So here's our bedroom. I've got this thing in the middle that blocks our bedroom off from the rest of the house. And I'm probably thinking about building this even higher so that it blocks like this whole room off from the other side of the house. We've got our furnaces, a crafting table, a really cute flower pots in our room. I've got a bunch of little flowers, and we've got our stained glass window that we can look out at night when we sleep in our bed. And over here is our living room, which I might decorate a little more if we've only really got one chair in here. But yeah, we've got these half slabs, the stairs and fences and things, making a nice little pattern in the house and the trap doors. I've been really loving using trap doors on basically anything. And our fishing hole still works, which is nice. I love that trapdoors can stand by their own now, so I've been using them in fun ways. We've got our chests and crafting table that are sitting on these half slabs, so I really like that. I like them being off the floor. I think that it looks a little more creative having them in interesting places. Over here we have this chair that I made with a bunch of trapdoors around it, but I think that gives it something a little special little fun to have this strange looking chair. I think it is really funny looking, but I like it. And you can, you know, fold it up and pack it up with your trap doors, but this way it kind of looks like a coffin to me, in all honesty. So, there's that. But I like it. I like decorating my little couch with all these trap doors. And maybe taking these away will look better. Look good. The bottom trap doors could kind of be like a footrest if I kept them there. But maybe this looks better. I like this. A little cha. And this is the first floor of our house. I think that it looks really awesome. I might do some more of our trapdoor chairs around here so more of our guests can sit. This is the ladder that's going to be going up to our second floor. I've got this beam here that's kind of separating the roof in two. Because I wanted to like, I want to do two roofs. And these will be like maybe either two rooms or just have two roofs to decorate the house. I think that'll look really cool on the outside when we do all that stuff. So yeah, here we are. In the next episode, we're going to be decorating and finishing off everything inside of our house. And I'm going to be decorating the top floor and actually building it. Don't know if we're going to finish that in the next episode or what. And I'm going to start on our farm and making our farm look really cool. I don't want it to just be that plot on the ground. It's going to be something awesome looking. We're, we're nearing the 20 minute mark. So I think this would be a great time to say bye to you guys. And I hope that you're liking the craft lock series so far. Though this is only the first episode. 
but hopefully we'll have many more episodes to come at this and we won't just completely die. I want to do all of the biomes with you guys and I'm going to have all the information in the description of how to do this challenge on your own and I hope that you guys find it fun to do by yourselves. So I'm gonna go off to bed and I'm Nicole Red Panda and I hope you guys have a great day or night or whatever time it is where you're from and I'll see you later. Bye!